drones is getting more complex and more regulated, but it's a growing hobby with a growing community in El Paso. We advocate for safe drone flying around the community, especially here in El Paso being a border town. There's a lot of uh, governmental agencies, a lot of uh, complex airspace that you have to deal with when you're out here flying. Meet the founders of the El Paso Drone Hive, an organization you can find and join on Facebook that meets regularly to fly, to teach how to fly, and sometimes even to fish at a scout at the lake with their drones. You can get to where the big fish, you know, three, four hundred yards out, and then you push a button on your drone and it releases it, and then you just fly your drone back. If you're still staring at a drone someone gave you as a gift, bring it to a hive meet, even if it's still in the box, and they will gladly help you learn how to set it up and get it in the air. And so they have the system device where you can learn by actually using the remotes and flying the drone, but the professionals can help you by taking over the controls if they need to so you don't crash and burn. The club is designed for hobbyists who seem to find more and more ways to use drones for creative purposes. Some of the basic things, of course, is photography, uh, videography. You have drone delivery, which is, those are regulations that are just being passed. Not quite there yet, but they will be here pretty soon. But the club can also help you take it to the next level legally. As you advance to larger forms of drones that can go higher, there are a different set of rules that the drone hive can help you follow and get certified. Not doing so can hurt the local drone community overall. Because it just raises red flags and it could restrict us from having our freedoms to fly here in this region. The drone hive is a relatively new group in El Paso that has already managed to successfully organize its first annual International Drone Day event. And while the club is designed for hobbyists, learning, and fun, it's also a learning place as drones become more integral aspects of our lives, helping from everything from emergency response imaging with finding victims through thermal imaging to helping inspect buildings, roads, and bridges, surveying land, and eventually one day delivering our purchases. Box 14, Carpe. And they had all the toys. Man, those are some cool drones. They're so open to um, you just taking out your basic simple drone though and helping you get started. I could have used their help. My sister got me one for Christmas. Uh, I put it together, uh -huh. put it into the air, and it was gone in <laughs> like a kite. Like 20 seconds. Yep. It was just, it vanished. I feel like we've all gotten the drone. We just don't know what to do with it. Yeah, well, <laughs> I could have used their help for sure. Thanks, Erica.